job after weird job. I, uh... Well, what else did you work at the time? I mean, Radio Shack, obviously. Right after that, store. after la Radio Shack, uh, well, I was, I was unemployed for a few months, and then I was Lighting Expo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Lighting Expo was fun. It was, but it was a shit show. I had the easiest Fucking job. <laughs> drug, drug addict managers and coworkers. Oh, and God, I know. People getting drunk in the back rooms and... Yeah, I remember our, our manager used to tell me, he'd give me a 20 and be like, or, and be like Russ, go pick me up a six-pack of this from the liquor store next door. And he'd just start drinking it at work. That was just the beginning. That yeah. was just him. That didn't even count. Once, like, he, oh! once he got fired for fucking robbing the store, yeah. and we got the other guy in. Yeah, our manager, he was just taking the drops at the end of the night that you're supposed to just bring to the bank. After, and he just started bringing them home. Yeah. And I was there. God, I was there the day that... That so I, was I. Oh, you were there too? Okay, I couldn't remember who wasn't. Yeah, where Maybe he, it was where he who walked him in the back like a fucking a child and made him count for him. And we all looked at each other like, oh, it's happening! But, uh. Whoa! Goddamn. Wow. The, uh. Yeah, after, after him. So he would, he would drink on the job. And then, uh. Then our old pal Wayne came in to be a manager. Yeah, and uh, uh, our w Wayne and, uh, and and Billy would uh, would get uh, ah, completely ah, ah. completely shit faced. I don't know. Oh, how that Jesus, works, run! But I gotta go. And uh, yeah, they'd be they'd be completely hammered on the job uh, to the point where I'd have to explain customers yeah that he's just not feeling well <laughs> they're just like he smells like liquor <laughs> like yeah yeah it's like he smells like that when he gets sick <laughs> sorry <laughs> no one else to tell you uh, oh no that's always that that has always been the fucking thing that's pissed me off the most about getting laid off from that place <clears throat> is like of all the people that did all that shit yeah i never drank on the job i never did any drugs. Yeah, why were you I there? did... Uh, my sales were great. I was let go because my roommate at the time, uh, the warehouse manager, Billy, let him know, uh, the owner of the store know, that I was currently looking for a new job. Right. Which I wasn't. You and I were starting... Uh, it was when we were doing the, in, in, the oh, indie yeah. mogul stuff. And we were just hoping something might work Yeah. Out. It was the Dread Theater. It was Dread Theater. Dread Theater, that's right. It was when we did Dread Theater for Indie Mogul. If you go on IndieMogul or YouTube.com slash IndieMogul and look up Dread Theater, it's back when Indie Mogul first started. God. We were, uh, we, there was a chance we could have a series on this channel. And it was like, God damn, that'd be fucking awesome. My roommate proceeds to tell the owner that I'm looking for, for a different job making videos. Yeah. And I was the only person not looking for a diff another job. Yeah. They, the rest of us used to actually break out the class The class fights and sit in newspapers the, the, were still more of a thing at the time. People, the other were, he would have a class fight and sit out with customers in this lighting store looking for a new job. I was the only one that was it. And, and the owner came up to me one day and was just like, yeah, I'm letting you go. I'm like, what? I was the assistant manager at the time. He's like, yeah, uh... Billy told me you were looking for a different job, and uh, I'm gonna let you go. And it's just like, you know what? Well, didn't Fuck he? Fuck this. Didn't he overall, like, there were always issues there, didn't he? Like, where he wasn't. Maybe it was. Was it you or was it other people who had, like, the in company mail system? There would be these passive aggressive. Mail, like mail messages between each other. No, that I was nothing with me. That would have been up to up probably the, Billy. Yeah, Billy, who he ended up giving my job to Billy because Billy was the warehouse manager, and then he tasked him with being the assistant manager as well, but didn't increase his pay. So that's where I was like, <laughs> "Fuck you." What am I doing Damn. here? So, I yeah, I, fuck uh, that place. Yeah, easiest job I ever had. Yeah, no, come actually, in, absolutely. Come in, build lights, go home. Uh, yeah, what the hell am I doing in here? Well, I, mean, I uh, see I can- I gotta get up. Well, okay, I guess I could do it from the other room. Do I have to get out of here? I don't think you can, can you? I don't 
Oh. Well, let's look look around. What else do you got? You got uh, that mirror is kind of broken. Is there anything to that? Well, let me take a look. Yeah, is there anything else you with that? Uh, is this something I can? No. No. I got turlet paper. Nothing else. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's still toilet paper. What's on the left? That big jug feels like I should be able to move it, but I can't. Ah, and some toilets. You won't let me move this thing. Can you get on top of it? No. No, it won't let me. Ah, help me. I'm trying. <clears throat> help me. Let me see. I feel the only thing that help. stands out is that broken piece of mirror. Um, help me, please. There's the cage on the bottom right. Is there anything in there? That's where I just hid. Maybe is, is there any passage through anywhere? No. No. Um, can you climb the pipe behind the toilet? Or? Hang on. Let me, maybe I'm missing something by not having my lighter on. Oh, wait a minute. Hey. Uh, what is that? Is that something I can... Let me do something with it. What? Is your lighter again? No. It won't let me do anything with it. Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. Oh. Some way of overflowing the sink. Uh, I, the only thing that's that, not a bad idea, actually. Hang on, let me. So the only thing that I like the the obvious thing that I would see is the mirror. Right. It's the only thing that stands out. Um. Let me see. Oh, there we go. What happened? Oh, it worked. I had to hold the button down longer. Wait, I, let me through. Oh, shit. All right, we're through. Oh. Oh, whoa, what was that? Why'd the chair just bounce? Oh. Someone's walking? Or? What kind of ground is it on? Well, I'm not going to be too concerned. Just going to move into here. I wonder where. Oh, oh. While well, we're on the topic of, old, of that job, I wonder where Lisa is these days. Ugh. She's this woman that we worked with. But I, I always got along with Lisa. No, so did I. Enough. But she, every single day, at some point, she just walk up to you and go, "You know what? You know who I can't fucking stand?" And start going up here. Like, oh, she oh. made she made such a big deal out of the tiniest things to where, yeah. like. The weather could change, and you'd think her life was drastically altered. Yep. And uh, constantly taking days off, uh, she was one that would look for she would look for new jobs in the classifieds. Yeah. But announce it out loud, letting everybody know that she's done. Yeah, <laughs> she was. Uh, she was dramatic. Remember when I threw that wrench right next to our manager's head? Yeah. That was, that was my favorite moment of that job. Ah, oh, the wrenches that were thrown there. <laughs> we used to- <laughs> the shit we used to do! I- like, remember when we just do the, uh, I mean, hell, we have a video of it. Yeah. Of it- of us throwing, throwing screwdrivers into boxes. <laughs> just that, a big that wall- That ah! very expensive ah! lights. <laughs> oh, he's wearing a mask. Oh, no! Oh, they're all after me. Oh, they all want me. I gotta go. Oh. Oh, oh Jesus! my god. Oh! Just don't stop. It just gets worse. Oh my goodness. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, jump. Oh, oh, oh no, no. Oh! Down here! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's bullshit. That's alright. I guess I'll just start that run over. Yeah, but do you remember Anthony, right, right before I threw that wrench? He was just bullshitting with us, and for no reason, he just said, the, like, the phone rang. And we're just bullshitting, and he goes, oh, all right, this is Steve. None of you make a fucking word. <laughs> and we were like, whoa, where did that come from? We were just talking, and then he suddenly got, like, shitty. So as soon as he picked up the phone, hello? I just pick up a wrench and threw it at the wall <laughs> right next to his head. Scared the shit out of him. One of my proudest moments. I, uh, that... I think, you know what? Oh, jeez. I think Lighting Expo is where I truly birthed my, like, 
uh, uh, my attitude uh, uh, at work. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. Just don't stop. Uh, I jumped too early. <laughs> <laughs> After all. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's where I gave. That's where I. I grew my. I don't give a fuck attitude. Yeah. Uh, because of just things that would happen there. Um. I remember that that manager Anthony, who you threw a uh, screwdriver at, wrench. I uh, oh yeah, big wrench. big wrench. I uh, I got into a fucking shouting match with him. Okay, and I was always like, I was always very cool with him and Paul, the the managers at this place. But there was one day where it was just like whatever he was saying was wrong, and he wouldn't fucking bow down on it. Just wrong information, acting like an asshole about it. And right. I got into this fucking like, like screaming at each other, like "Shut the fuck up, you goddamn moron!" He's yeah. just like, "What did you say?" I'm like, "You fucking heard me!" <laughs> to the point where I finally was like, "All right, you know what? We're just gonna call Steve, the owner, and see what he has to fucking say about it." I called up Steve, the owner of the store. And I'm just like, "Hi, right, Steve." We got a bit of a fucking problem here. And Anthony <laughs> leans over and hangs up the phone. He's like, all right, we we, we, we can talk about this. <laughs> Little did we know, he was probably like, oh, I don't need Steve looking at exactly. I'm doing it all. I know. <laughs> uh, and that was that was like the birth of like asshole chat at work. Yeah. Where from then on, I, was, I just didn't go fuck about anything. And that's how I've treated managers at every it, job it, I've been at. It's since. funny. At the last, the last time we talked about this, I remember... Uh, being like where I mentioned I think I got onto uh, the wrong topic because where I mentioned like oh I can't imagine being like that to somebody at work then I realized I actually have but the problem is I've usually been okay with most of my jobs yeah most people I've worked with I've been okay with and I forgot the times that I wasn't I was kind of a dick but I didn't think about it mm. I would just do it yeah and not care and in retrospect I'm like oh those people must have really hated me because <laughs> I remember at Toys, Toys R Us when I worked there pissing some people off and I would just continue doing whatever was pissing them crawl off. Crawl through that little crack. What crack? The light's coming through. Just follow where the light's coming through. Oh, the oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm like, where the fuck do I gotta go? Uh, hang on. This seems important. Oh, boy. I'm hungry again. What's this bowl? Is there something in the bowl? Is that a bowl? It's not even a bowl. Oh. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. oh shit. No. Okay, let's go. Is that a carrot? Give me that. Give me that sausage. Oh, it's a sausage. It's a sausage I saw getting made. Oh! Oh! I thought I, he was gonna give me the sausage, girl. Why'd you do this? Russ, Why? He's had a taste for. She's had a taste for fle uh, fresh meat. Oh no! I, when, I, that poor little thing. It's like my dad always says: you don't want to, you don't want to ever try cannibalism because it's addicting. Yeah, he does always say that. You're right. Yeah, he always says that. Every time I bring it up, every time I say I would absolutely try to eat a person, he's like, "Don't even joke." Become addicted. Shit. There goes that woman again. I guess we'll find out what her deal is on the next episode, because it seems like we did an entire section of the game this episode while just telling work stories. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh that really does make the time fly by. So make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe, everybody. Tell us about uh Yeah. Tell us about your your fun work stories. <laughs> tell us did you have you ever worked with somebody who was uh, particularly smelly or a drug addict? Drinks on the job. You ever get so laid sad. off for a bullshit reason? So sad. Some of those cases. The, yeah. ends, the ends of those stories, you don't want to hear some of them. Yeah. They were not good. So tune in tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> and uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.